Well, hello there, internet people, RC lovers. What's going on? Smiles for miles. RC time. Welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever the case may be. I hope this video finds you safe and sound. Um, also, if you wouldn't mind giving me a subscription, subscribe down below, leave me a comment, and uh, ring the notification bell so you get all the notifications when I'm uploading videos. It doesn't cost a dime. I don't make any money from it. It just helps the algorithm to recognize who I am. Um, you can share the videos as well. Today we're going to be doing a unboxing of a car that I've been wanting for a while, but I've never been able to really get my hands on one. And um, buying them in state were a lot more expensive than picking one up other. So this is two things. We're going to do a live unboxing together. This is all a surprise to me as much as it is to you. Um, my first purchase from AliExpress. Never purchased anything from AliExpress. I'm just going to adjust my camera, scotch. Um, so I'm going in blind, just like you. We're going in blind, gang, together. Here's the, uh, let me see if I can grab it. Here's the package from AliExpress. It uh, came from China. And uh, we're going to get it open up here and check everything out. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, check out my other videos. I just did a bashing video with the uh, DERC 9201E. And uh, that was a lot of fun. It was at a local skate spot, street skate spot. Um, there's several areas to this skate spot. It's called um, Super Ditch. And a lot of people, pros like like girls skateboards and birdhouse and you name it has been down there to film. In my video I mentioned Aaron Jaws Amoki. He did a off the top of the the bridge on the on the top part of the bridge, not the railing down below, but above. Like the bridge goes across. On the top of the bridge he went tail he did a tail drop, melon grab into the bank. And you can see the video. He doesn't do it first try. It's, you know, first try. He does. It takes him a few times. Okay, this is where we're at right now. So um, go check out that video, and uh, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna be filming a lot at Super Ditch. It is right here by my house, and um, so I figure, well, why not? And I'm surrounded by a lot of ditches in this area, so I'll probably be filming a lot in different ditches as well in the future. Um, we'll see what happens, you know, but yeah, I've been, one thing that's nice about living where I live, there is a lot of ditches, and there's a lot of ditches in Arizona in general. I grew up riding ditches, skating ditches when I was younger, and, um, it's like my favorite thing to do other than skate an empty pool or the, uh, or bank somewhere. My, my favorite, my spot was called The Wedge in Scottsdale, and um, that's got a skate park in it, but that's a legendary spot. A buddy of mine from way back in the day, Randy Colvin, he did a, he ollied over the gap because the wedge goes like this and there's a big flat spot. With his own momentum, he ollied over that whole thing. And it's been done, but not like that. Not like that. People claim the fame, first try, no. Randy Colvin did it first, and he did it without a motorcycle pulling him, or a car, or anything of that nature. He did it all on his own. So, um, it's a lot of fun. But yeah, I've just been skating my whole life, um, pretty much permanently broken, not pretty much, permanently broken now. Uh, a lot of my friends still skate that are in my age, and um, it's cool to watch them still skating at, you know, how old they are, like, you know, my buddy, Kevin, one of my best buds, Kevin Staub, he's like, I'm 59, he's 55, I believe, and, or 56, and then Tony, he's still skating, and Tony Hawk, he's still skating. They all are. Christian Hosoy, they all are still skating, so it's really cool to see. Um, I'm not saying everybody from my generation is still skating, but the majority are. The majority are. They, they've all gotten lucky with their health. You know, it's not like they haven't experienced crazy um, injuries before because Tony Hawk broke his femur 
Uh, Caballero broke his femur. Bucky Lazette broke his femur. Staub broke his femur. So all those guys have broken their femurs and they're still skating. Okay, I think I got it here, gang. Let's take all the bubble wrap off. And then we'll be able to check it out. All right, here we are. The box is kind of beat up, but HyperGo, this is the model I got up here. Um, this is the HyperGo uh, 1 16th scale um, RC brushless, four wheel drive, high speed off road truck, 2.4 gigahertz controller. Where's that? Techno Babble. Uh, there's more Techno Babble on the, on the, oh, here, there's more. We got a whole metal transmission system. Um, whole metal uh, duty differentials, 25C 2S LiPo battery, uh, remote control, brushless motor. I don't know what KV it is. I'll look that up here in a minute. Oil capped aluminum filled shocks. Got a fan and, and uh, 45 amp. So that means 45 amp will be able to uh, run 3S through here. It has those weird batteries. So uh, yeah, let's get into the box, check out and see what we got. I'm excited for this one. Um, I, I like all my cars. I just like all my cars, but I'm excited for this one just because it's got some little bit of controversy to it just because of the, what it looks like, or I should say how it's set up. Set up. So we've got some boxes here we're going to pull out. Here's the car. Oh baby, it's a 1 16th scale, guys. Is there anything else in here? There it is, boom. Got an LED bar. We'll get into the car in a minute. Very cool, very cool. Nice shocks, very, very cool. Okay, let's check out the, um, what's in the baggie? Baggage of stuff comes with a manual we'll get into that here in a second I'm excited but not like the other day when I opened up my DERC and the uh, DERC other the other DERC I was shaking this one I'm excited about but I'm not shaking like I was before I have uh, epilepsy you guys and uh, so excitement shakes makes me shake stress can cause an, a seizure, which knock on wood I haven't dealt with. Okay, so this is the same transmitter remote as the DERC H16E. So it's got that weird design on it. 70 to 100% power. It's got uh, your throttle and your steering trim about it nice foam wheel on here some more information on the top I don't know why they put these stickers on the top it just makes it pain in the butt to get them off these ones um, cuz they're on there there we go Pretty much came off one full swoop. A little bit of residue left, but rubbing alcohol is your best friend. Get rid of glue like that. Okay, I imagine this takes two batteries and it's got a screw on it, of course. Let's see if I got a screwdriver here that I can use. This again, if you're just joining the video, this is an unboxing of the HyperGo 116th. Uh, High-speed uh, RC truck four-wheel drive I'm gonna take the screw out of the remote because I'm not gonna need it Okay, so it flips up and you need uh, two AA batteries I have to dig one out so we're not gonna put any batteries in this today for this this unboxing but we will definitely be doing a video with a bashing. Um, it comes with the uh, charger, proprietary charger, and a Phillips screwdriver and a T wrench. 
and wheelie bars with screws. So cool. Uh, manual is black and white manual. It's just got all the parts and information. So this is definitely a hobby grade. It's got the breakdown, all that good stuff. Um, how to's, warnings, what does what on your ESC right here. So um, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Put that aside, let's get the car. Okay, so the car, excuse me. This is the car. And it looks like it only came with one battery. There's not a second battery in it that we found. Yeah, it only came with one battery. Um, but that's no big deal. I'm not going to be using those batteries. You guys already know how I feel. My last unboxing with the DERC H16E. But um, this is what's interesting. There's no body clips at all. And what you do is you twist this to take the body off. That's very similar to another company in the graphics, very similar to another company that we all know and recognize, especially this. So you, un you pop that open and lift up. So you pop it open and you lift it up and then you're able to take the body off just like that. So it's very reminiscent to a Traxxas Max or X Max or any of the Traxxas products, the way it latches in. Really cool. Nice firm, nice firm body, not too shabby. Um, like I said, it does come with LED lights and here's the battery. Here's the interior, 4,500 KV uh, brushless motor with a cooling fan. It's got a 45 amp, um, I don't know, 3,800 KV, uh, 45 amp ESC. It looks like it's um, three wire servo, so you can change that out. It's got a Dean's connector. Um, it's got a cooling uh, gills on the top of the ESC. We got oil shocks. We got big, big dog bones. Everything's metal, CVTs, metal. All this is all metal. The plastics on here are for the swing arm and et cetera are nice. You have actually adjustments for your, your camber. So that's really cool. Um, your bumper's pretty stiff, not super, super stiff. You're gonna have to super glue that back in place because that just popped out. I have to get my eyes on and figure out how to put that back on because I moved the bumper. There we go. It's just press fit in there. Looks like it's just press fit in there. I can get it back in. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's just press fit in there. That'll probably pop out when you wipe out. So you might want to put a little dab of super glue in there uh, you got adjustable oil filled shocks and the shocks are nice 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 yeah the, the tray is this honeycomb tray just like on the DERC uh, h16e same everything same chassis very nice this one you got some a, a lot more angle though this one is more for bashing so you can jump it and it lands got some room to land so, you know, if you land it, it still has room there. So that's really nice. Like I said, you got LED lights. Um, you have adjustable shock mounts. So you can move your shocks inward and outward. Looks like there's three. Looks like there's three. You could actually, if you wanted to, with adapters, you probably could extend an adapter here and, and here and put a, another set of shocks in the back. That'd be cool. Can't do it in the front, but that'd be cool to have a second pair of shocks in the back if, you, if you're if you so inclined. 
in the way you take the battery out, you twist the little knob and it pops open. There we go. And then pops open and then the battery comes out. Oops, and then the battery comes out. All right, we already know that there's other batteries that'll fit this, which is very exciting. You only get one battery, which is fine. You have options to get two batteries, but I just chose one because again, I'm probably not gonna be using that battery. Um, you got a metal drivetrain right there. You can see it right in there. I like how they put plenty of protection from your battery to the metal drivetrain. This is all metal gears, metal differential. There is some nylon in the differential, but not inside. It's all metal gearing. And then, um, like I said, these are beefy, beefy, beefy dog bones. Those are beefy. That's like a 110 scale dog bone on a 116 scale car. Um, tires are nice, soft, supple, not too hard. Has some give, they're already glued, so you don't have to worry about it. There is some holes inside of the wheel. Um, most likely, I'm gonna take a little piece of electrical tape and cover those holes. That way you're not getting water inside and there's sponge in here, so you're not getting water inside, you're not getting debris in there. Um, it doesn't hurt anything to it at all. Might take the balance off just a little bit, but nothing major. Uh, also, you got, like I said, you got a Dean's connector and you got these really great bumpers on the side that you tuck the the body in place and it keeps it inside so you can the tires don't hit nice servo say a nine kilogram servo it's another the way it's set up you can see that the the servo arm which is connected to us to another servo arm which is connected to the servo rod going directly to the servo over here very interesting methodology um, looks like you got another space for another thing of lights if so inclined. You got your programming port right here. You can't see it really. It's right there. Programming port. Got your on and off switch here on the side. Great little car. Um, I'm pretty happy. Like, you know, my first time, one, ordering from AliExpress and getting it in this in this uh condition is awesome because you know you hear a lot about nightmares from aliexpress you know like people getting their stuff and it's just all messed up or broken or whatever and from my first experience i'm pretty happy with this car then we're going to put the car back on again you take the front end and see this clip right here you're going to put that in there like that see if I can get it to do it it's got to be precise to get in there how does it get in there oh well if I had it the right way right that's the front I was trying to put it in the backwards so that's cool it keeps you from doing it backwards so again, this lip right here, there's a little gap right there, and there's a little lip right there on the, the front of the the uh, car, and you just slip it in there. I can find the gapping. There we go. You just slip it in there like such. Push down, lift your lid, push down on your back end. And then you should be able to lock up the car. having a kind of a difficult time with it. Imagine having a difficult time with something from I don't want to force anything. So no forcing of anything. Let's check this out again. Okay, so that goes. The 
Okay, okay, okay. Put that in there. There we go. Clicks right in place. And then you just turn that latch to the one side. You go from one side to the other. And you just turn it like that, pull your clip, pull your body. Nothing broke with that clip. So you just put it back in again. Boom, perfect. I'm excited to take this out, the super ditch, give it a run. Um, definitely gonna be running at 2S and 3S. Uh, like I said, I was telling you about the body, how it gets inside of these little protectors on both sides. That's awesome, that's awesome. Um, having access to the uh, on and off switch right in behind that panel is killer. It's got some skids on the top <clears throat> for protection. You can see that there's no body clips on the top and the bottom. Got another skid area here for protection as well. Doesn't look like there's any plastic covering. No, there's no plastic covering on the body itself, which makes sense considering all this other stuff. It did have a piece of plastic on the top when I did pull it out of the box. Yeah, uh, Hyper Go, pretty stoked. 1 16th scale, 4x4 off-road truck. Badass, looks like a little tiny mini, looks like a mini Max or a mini uh, X Max. So that's pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm excited for this, very excited for this one. Um, got a lot of uh, bubble wrap, which is always nice. So um, I'll show you something too, what's in here, nothing. Okay, so this was the plastic that came on the, the car, covering the body. It was covering the body like, like that, in the box. So that's why there is no heat shrink, um, or not heat shrink. Man, it's kind of heat shrink because the peel off plastic that we're all used to, because it had that film protector on the top. Um, yeah, that's about it, gang. Hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I know I did. I'm really excited for this car to uh, take it out for a bash at Super Ditch and other places. Um, there's, like I said, there's several ditches by my house that I want to take my cars to and um, bash them around. Check it out, you know. But um, yeah, I'm excited for that. I'll put that away later. Get this stuff out of here. Okay. All right. All right, okay. Okay. All right, gang, that's the MJX. Uh, excuse me. MJX Hyper Go. High speed car, four wheel drive. Number 16208. 16208. 16. 16208, 16209, and 16210. So there's different colorways. The other brushless MJX truck, like this size, has body clips and it's a different colorway. It's got more purples and blues. Um, then there's a brushed version as well. And I believe that's the uh, 16210. I'm not 100 on that, so don't quote me. Yeah, that's it. Well, I hope everybody had a blessed day. And I hope you have a blessed evening, and I hope everything coming your way is nothing but positive. So with that, thank you for coming by. Smiles for Miles RC time. Keep an eye out for more videos coming out soon. I'm gonna be going out and filming more. The weather's nice, so I'll be able to got, take off on my bike a lot. I got me a trailer to be able to pull some of my bigger cars. So yeah, a lot coming on the channel. Um, like I said, please subscribe. Uh, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment if you have one of these. How do you feel about this being a, well, I wouldn't say a clone, but a small version of a Traxxas Max or an X Max? Let me know what you think, okay? I hope all is well, like I said. Thanks again, each and every one of you. I appreciate all of you, and I appreciate you guys watching my videos. I'm at 35 subs. I'd like to get it up to 1,000. I'm getting plenty of views. I'd like to build that up as more. So therefore, um, 
YouTube can recognize me and I can hopefully become a RC content creator and make a living off of this. That's, that's my goal. Um, I don't, I'm, it's not like I'm quitting my job or any of that, but that's something that I'm aspiring to do. We'll see what happens, how that goes. Um, yeah, we're going to be installing the uh, wheelie bar. It's going to be fun. A lot of fun. If you don't have an RC car, go out there and get yourself one. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how young you are. Just go get yourself a car. You know, I suffer from a lot of anxiety due to a lot of abuse from growing up. And these cars really help get rid of the um, stresses that my brain creates. So being able to get out and about, take my car out and film, play around, bash, jump, have a good time, takes all that away. With that, peace be the journey, brothers and sisters. Remember, go bashing and get yourself a car. That's what I'm saying.